The weather is a little bit miserable today. However, I'm doing something pretty exciting. It's Winkowski time, motherfucker. I generally can't wait to see this deck in person. I am so happy that I got a Winkowski deck. It's a beautiful deck. Once I saw it, I knew it. This is my board. We're gonna unbox it on this channel. Yeah, I'll see you guys at the house. Top of the morning, evening, night or day, ladies and gentlemen. This is me here today on behalf of Well Prepared Men and I hope everyone's well and good. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a skateboard. So if that sounds right up your rally, don't forget to stay up until the very end. Roll the intro. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain and the following video is for subscribe devices only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the main reason why I got this deck is because of the size and afterwards how cool it looks. Like I saw this graphic and I was like, oh my God, I love this board. So here it is. It's wrapped in that poppy plastic, which is really good. Anyway, we're gonna take this out of the black bag first. Here we go. Oh, I can already see some of these colors and they're beautiful. The Winkowski deck is a Santa Cruz skateboard. And I've been wanting a Santa Cruz skateboard for a while now. Just because I've been trying to go from longboarding back into skateboarding but I always felt like skateboards were way too small for my feet so I found this deck from Santa Cruz which is the Winkowski Dope Planet 10.34 inches by 30 inches no I screwed up <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm gonna do this again so Winkowski Dope Planet 10.34 inches by 30 54 inches i'm actually going to show you guys this okay guys so these are the measurements of the board it was unfortunately made in china but i can get over this i i will get over it i hope santa cruz skateboards were made in america and this is a little bit disappointing but i'll get over it don't worry we also have a warning here which says skating within your own abilities Injury or death may be a result from improper use. Wear safety gear <laughs> and follow pedestrian rules. <laughs> right. We're going to wear a helmet. We're going to skate within our abilities. But we're definitely not going to follow pedestrian rules. So we have the deck here. I can't fit all of it on my camera, unfortunately. At least from where I am sitting. Why? There we go. <laughs> Look at the back of the board, guys. I'm just gonna keep taking off the plastic just so we can fully appreciate it. But this is a beautiful deck. It looks like it's a sticker. Huh, I can glue this somewhere. It's not gonna be on this board. But I like having stickers, that's, that's always nice. I'm actually... Gonna take it off. Okay, so they didn't glue the sticker onto the board. They glue the the back of the sticker, which is this thing here. I can't split it right now. But they glued the back of the sticker onto the board, which means that you have a full usable sticker. That's really nice. The only thing we have here on the top of the deck, besides this really cool shape, is the Santa Cruz logo with a really cool skeleton hanging out. I think he's got something in his hand. I hope that's a joint. Anyway, here on the back of the board is where the artwork begins. And look at this amazingness. Look at this work of art, ladies and gentlemen. I saw this board and there was so much going on. So for starters, we got Winkowski here on the top. We got a beautiful shark. Then we got some palm trees here. What looks like seagulls. 
this could be the sky. I'm not entirely sure what this background here is. Whatever this is. This, to me, reminds me of a wave. Actually, it is a wave. We got a surfer here. <laughs> That's so cool. Then we have... This looks like a skull here. We got the... Yo, this is not the deck that I ordered. I ordered the one with the Sharingan in the middle. This is the deck that I ordered. It's a similar vibe, but completely different. <laughs> <laughs> so here in the back, we got some mushrooms, a skeleton. We got the Santa Cruz logo in the fireball. And here we have the all seeing eye and we got dope planet over here. I'm not often speechless, but I was lost for words. I'm really peculiar about the things that I own, and I really like them because I chose them. This is not something that I chose. However, I chose it, if that makes sense. I chose the deck. The Missile 2 Concave Cruise is the reason why I chose this deck, and the shape of this deck is phenomenal to me. The graphic was the secondary reason as to why I chose the deck, and as much as I would like to have the graphic that I chose, I'm not going to make a fuss about this because the seller made me a really good price on this and I'm actually grateful to have this deck. So I'm going to accept this deck as one of my own and put as much love as I would have put into the other one. I realized a few things in the process. The riser pads that are unboxed here in my last video aren't the ones that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using some smaller risers. And also, I was undecided between Venture Trucks, the 6.1, or Indies 159. And someone sniped the Venture Trucks right from under my nose on Vinted. So I guess I'm going to be going with the Indies 159. And I'm finally going to try Indies for the first time. I'm actually excited about that. And I guess one of the other reasons to go with Indies is Winkowski himself is skating Indies 159 on this board. So I believe that is the perfect setup for this board specifically. So we're going to order some Indies 159. And once they arrive, we're going to assemble this board. But this is all for now. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me up until the very end. I hope you have enjoyed unboxing this deck here with me. It was a little bit of a surprise, this video, but nevertheless, awesome and really the highlight of my day. So I want to thank you for chilling here with me. I hope you have a rest and amazing day. This is your boy, Logan, out. Peace.